saying it to Ashley broke my heart and like blew my mind open. Did we plan Did out? We plan out? Was it was crazy. crazy. I knew that people would love it. They just didn't know yet. It was a huge, I told you so at moment. I knew people were gonna dislike me. I didn't know they was gonna hate me. Relieved is the word I would say. I was surprised by people's public sort of display of, okay, I, forgive me, I said the show was gonna be rubbish, and now I've watched it, it's amazing. Not even shocked, I had people, my homies texting me, yeah, like, I fall, dog, this, this look crazy. By that first episode, y'all like the first episode? Oh, y'all gonna love this whole season. I met Travis Scott, and uh, and he was a huge fan of the show, and I was like, that's insane, because because I, I love his music, LeBron. <laughs> oh, you know, Will Smith is a fan of the show, too. <laughs> we have dope cameos this season. So Weedy is in episode one, and the most important thing that you need to know is she's the best smelling human being on the planet. And that she is, she lives up to her name, she is a... Sweetie. Sweetie, yeah. <laughs> Wow, did we plan that? Did we plan did that? Did we plan that? It was it's crazy. crazy. Tatiana this season has been amazing. And she has this scene with Ashley. And I remember right after yeah. she shot it, she was coming out of her trailer and she was like, I just told the new Ashley things that I wish I heard when I was playing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that That's yeah. spiritual. That's just yeah. beautiful yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just told her like, shine. Like, let your light shine. And just keep doing it. Like. Be confident and do what you know how to do. There's a scene we had in the hallway. The way it was written, saying it to Ashley, having been Ashley myself at one point, just broke my heart and like blew my mind open. I was like, what time am I in? What universe? I felt like I was sort of like looking at my, at my younger self and saying the things that I wish as a young actress, mm -hmm. as a young woman doing this work, I wish somebody had said to me, you know, or people could not have said that enough, you know, yes. like be yourself. Don't let this world mess you up. That's a moment in my life and in my career that I will absolutely never forget. Just full circle. The original did it really well with attacking some serious issues, issues that weren't really being displayed on TV. I think it's important that they showed these LGBTQ stories on TV, especially for people her age, they can feel like they're not alone. Season two continues with Carlton's journey with mental health. The mental health crisis is something that, you know, youth everywhere today are dealing with, but I think is also really, really beautiful is it continues that conversation in the context of Carlton and his parents. I think we're having some really difficult and really, really beautiful conversations. It's been nice to, uh, to play these very, intense uh powerful scenes with with ollie and and cassandra um and just trying to navigate him and his his anxiety i learned a lot about balance being a musician as well as being on a tv show that the culture rides for so hard so trying to balance giving all of me to both of these things and not running on empty it's been challenging i think balance is real my life is like the manifestation of, you know, saying what you want and being humble enough to ask for help. We've been doing a lot of work and we put a lot of love into this season. We're not trying to recreate the um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We are bringing new dynamics to each character and we're basically opening up the journal to each character. That's really what I love about Bel-Air. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to let everybody in. Season two is going to be fantastic. I can't wait for everybody else to see it.